Hi, this is Leah from Imagine DIY and I've just finished designing this really pretty handmade paper invitation and wanted to show you how to make it. So we have templates available on our website that can be downloaded. I've printed them onto a sheet of 5 by 7 card, A6 card. The RSVP cards are too small to fit, um, to fit through a printer. So I've printed two onto an A6 sheet and I'm just going to show you how to resize them. So I've just worked out where the border should be. I'm using a ruler just to tear along the edges. So I'll show you again on the other side. So I'm just finding where the edges should be to make sure it's central. Holding the ruler in place. I'm just going to remove the RSVP card from underneath. And then just tearing along the edge of the ruler just to keep that lovely rustic edge um, on the card. You can neaten this up later just by tearing down the edges with your fingers. But this is a really lovely way of keeping it um, with the same kind of feel as the rest of the invitation. So we're just going to do the bottom edge then. And then we're done. There. So again, just tearing along the edge. You can see it's a little bit scruffy there, so you, we can just pull it away with our fingers. It's as easy as that. So once we're done, we're just going to pop that into the RSVP envelope then. And you can see it's just the perfect size and then pop the invitation together. Right, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take some greaseproof paper. I've just cut this off a normal sheet from, that you can buy from the supermarket, lay that on top of the invitation, and then take a, a section of uh, silk ribbon I've used for this, so four times the width of the card, find roughly the center, and then pop the invitation on top. We're then just going to tie a simple knot, so just over and under. We're not going to do a double knot. And then we're just going to hold the ribbon in place just like that. The next thing we're going to do, we've got these beautiful wax melting spoons that you can use with a candle. I'm just going to take a normal wax stick and I'm just going to melt that inside the spoon. So I've fast forwarded this a little bit, but it would take about 30 seconds to, to just melt it fully. So there you go, you can see the wax melting. And once you've got a nice pool, you'll be ready to pour then. There, you can see the pool building. And we're just going to scrape off the edges. So what you can do, you can heat up the, the wax a little bit longer. I like to keep it fairly, fairly stiff to an extent. Um, but then I'm just going to pour the wax out on top of the ribbon, holding the edges of the ribbon in place. I like a rough pour for this, so not a complete perfect circle, because um, it just adds the rustic finish. So I'm just pouring it quite scruffily on top of the ribbon, making sure to cover both sides. There. And the next thing I'm going to do is take my wax stamp, press it in, and hold it in place. There. So now I'm just neatly going to trim the edges of the ribbon. So you can trim them how you want, but I like to trim them in line with the underneath card. And then wait for the wax to dry. Once it's dry, the seal should lift off easily and you should be able to pull away the greaseproof paper and then you've just got this beautiful invitation all finished and ready to send to your guests. So why not give it a go yourself? Visit the website, the templates and all the products are available online for you to purchase. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.